you guys. Today we're going to talk about an application of linear algebra in economics. It's called the Leontief Input Output Model, where x equals cx plus d, x being the amount produced, equals cx intermediate demand plus d final demand, where c is the consumption matrix. Okay, so this is just a simple example. Let's say if we're given that our consumption matrix is equivalent to 0 0.2, 0 0.20, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, and 0 0.1, 0, 0.2. And our demand final demand is 40, 60, and 80. And we're trying to solve for the amount produced given this consumption matrix and given this final demand. So if we play with this equation a little bit, we say x equals cx plus d. If we subtract cx from both sides, x minus cx equals d. We factor out an x here, we get 1 minus c equals d. Where this 1 over here is equal to the identity matrix. Okay, so let's apply this to this. So, and remember, our identity matrix for c is simply just going to be 1, 0, 0, um, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, right? minus whatever our C is, which is this, I'm not going to write it. When we do that, we get this. Let me write this down for you guys. We get 0 0.8, negative 0 0.2, 0, negative 0 0.3, 0 0.9, and negative 0.3. And we get negative 0 0.1, and 0.8. So I just subtracted this from this. So the only things that get affected here are what's in the diagonal. You know, we say 1 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.8. 1 minus 0 0.1 is 0 0.9. 1 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.8. And everything else just stays the same because there's zeros over here. Okay, so now we find out that 1 minus C equals this. So now we have to solve for x. So let me go ahead and erase this stuff over here. These problems are pretty easy as long as you can understand this concept over here. You shouldn't forget it. So let's just clear this up a little bit. Okay, so. So we have, we found out that 1 minus c was 0 0.8, negative 0 0.2, 0, negative 0 0.3, 0 0.9, and negative 0 0.3, negative 0.1, 0, and 0 0.8. You put this in matrix form, it's just x1 x2, x3, and this equals our final demand, which is 40, 60, and 80. So, you can think of this as our 1 minus our c, which I found there. You can think of this as our x, and this is our d. So this over here is that over there. So, if you remember how to solve a system like this, all we have to do is put this on this matrix, making it a 3 by 4 matrix and row reduce. So when we do that, let me go ahead and erase this. So we have 40, 60, and 80. And now we have to grow reduce this matrix. So this becomes a th so it's like this over here. So I'm assuming you know how to row reduce, but when you actually row reduce, you finally figure out that x1 is 
x sub 1 is equivalent is 82.7 x 2 sub 2 is 131.8 and x sub 3 is 110.3 So these are these are solutions for the mind that needs to be produced to satisfy that final demand. So once again, just if you can get a grasp of this equation over here, the rest is just simple row row reduction. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.